Good day peoples, Pedro Mota here and in this video I'm going to show you four ways to instantly record better motorcycle videos so that you can finally create that sweet riding video that you've always wanted to make. Let's get in it! How's it going folks? Uh, hope you're doing good out there. Congratulations still to all the Frenchies watching uh, with uh, winning the World Cup. As a lot of you know by now, I've uh, recorded a lot of footage uh, the last few years on my motorcycle journey around the world. Over time I learned a lot about uh, which footage looks good and uh, which doesn't and uh, how to consistently get the footage that you want. So the first way to shoot better motorcycle videos is to shoot in bursts. So this isn't just limited to shooting motorcycle videos, this applies to all the videos that you'll be recording at any time because the thing with long shots is that they become boring real quick unless you're maybe Paul Thomas Anderson or some other uh, critically acclaimed director but if you're not it's probably better to stay away from the really long shots for a while because once you're in that editing process you'll realize that you'll only use three for five seconds of a clip maybe tops 10 and in rare occasions you'll use more and also the problem with long clips when you're editing is that you have to go through the whole clip to find out where the good spots were again and man it takes a long time to review an hour worth of footage because of this it will take you so much longer to edit your video and then there's the good chance that you'll just quit after a while because it's just taking too long. So think about that when you're out there riding and recording and as riders we know when the best part is over and we can just turn it off and maybe in 10 seconds you'll turn it back on again when you see wow this is awesome too. So pick the right moments for that and from your own riding experience you'll know when that is. Another way to shoot better video number dos two use more than one camera especially if you're only using an action camera. Camera. Don't get me wrong, action cams are absolutely fantastic. Just that wide, awesome angle that just gets everything in the shot. And you really get a dramatic feel of uh, what's going on when you're up close. And what's even better on a motorbike is that sense of speed. But once things are medium, far, or actually far away, then the objects become very small. And we've all had those moments when uh, we're just out there on the bike and we're having a blast and we see some amazing scenery and we go, yes, that is awesome. Switch her on and then we get back home and we're super excited to have a look, right? This will look great. And then you turn it on and what do you see? Oh, that's actually not as impressive as I thought it would be. You know, it's basically in the name, action. Something needs to be happening. Something needs to be filling up that shot or there needs to be some nearby stunningness if uh, that's a word. Because once objects are further away, that's when the action camera stops shining. And a way to make the video more enjoyable to watch is to switch up the cameras. It doesn't cost much nowadays to so get your hands on uh, a quality point and shoot camera that shoots nice uh, 1080 full HD video. That's how I used to do it uh, before I had a GoPro and even after I got one, I would still do that with my uh, point and shoot. And because of that, I have this uh, nice mix mix of footage so I could do drive-bys or ride towards the camera while I'm still recording with the action cam so you can create this nice sequence of uh, alternating shots. But it doesn't necessarily just have to be a point and shoot. In Australia I've uh, upgraded to uh, a super zoom. I could see even further away and that's another thing that the action cams don't have is the capability to zoom. So basically without a bit of this uh, you're gonna miss out uh, on uh, quite a few interesting shots out there in the world. So switching up the camera footage will create a more immersive video for your viewers and will hold their attention longer. So I've been using a GoPro all these years and uh, still the same one, the Hero Free Black. And I've brought this one back uh, from the dead a couple of times. And uh, which action camera are you using out there? And uh, which one do you think is the best nowadays? Let us know in the comments. Way number three to record better video. And that is, did you notice? 
Anybody notice what happened? Do I have your attention again? Shoot from different angles. That's a big one and I wasn't doing it for the longest time and I've been riding in some amazing parts of the world and every day, day in, day out, always going to the top of my head. Click, click, click always from the same floating angle uh, from above, never really changing, maybe sometimes, but 90, 95% of the time, the same shot. But the same point of view gets boring real fast and especially when there's not much going on. We've all seen those videos uh, where the footage continuously stays the same and for most that isn't really engaging. But how different a video becomes once you start switching up the camera angle and especially nowadays with the terrible attention spans uh, that we have, uh, thank you internet uh, for that. And uh, are you still watching? I, I hope you are. I switch up the angles, why wouldn't you, right? We've been conditioned to click away fast if we're not entertained. So spice it up, uh, play around with the different angles. Start with the helmet and instead of just uh, the point of view on top, uh, move it to the side of the helmet or start recording from the chin like a lot of motor vloggers do. Or forget about the the helmet for a second and start looking for angles on the body like uh, from the chest or from the wrist. Find interesting point of views on the fairings, put it on the side or uh, find uh, some nice spots on the crash bars or move the camera to uh, the swing arm so you can record what's going on behind you or bring it back to the front and stick it onto the dash and record your whole upper body. Every position has its pros and cons, of course. There might be a lot of vibrations and you have to figure out a sweet spot or the time it takes to set up the camera or the camera will get dirty easily. You'll find out and that's why I always say experiment with this. Uh, figure out what works for you. Try it all out. What could possibly go wrong except for just make sure the camera is stuck. You don't want to see it uh, disappear in your rear view mirror as it bounces uh, on the road behind you. I've been there. You don't want to be there. Fourth and last way to record better videos and that is don't shoot directly into the sun. I know it's as simple as that, right? It's almost way too obvious, but raise your hand if you've done it way too many times. Isn't it brilliant how sometimes you shoot the perfect video where the colors are rich and full and the contrast is just perfectly balanced and you feel like GoPro or Sony could be blowing up your phone at any moment now asking if they can feature your clip on their front page until the end of time. But then more often your shots can look terribly bland. Where's the color all of a sudden? Where's the contrast? Why does it all look so washed out? Well, probably because you were pointing the camera at the sun or the harsh sunlight was coming from above. This usually happens when the sun is approaching uh, the highest point of the day or just after that when it's just right above you. That is when you get the flares in your shot or they become easily overexposed. And what happens a lot of times is that cameras have these automatic settings that try to compensate for that crazy overexposure but because it's trying to optimize the settings for that light source that means that the settings for the rest of the shot will be suboptimal so everything will tend to look worse most of your best videos will probably have been shot during golden hour and that's the period just after sunrise and the period just before sunset. Photographers watching will be familiar with this, but it's this point of the day where the sun is just at this sweet spot where the light isn't harsh anymore, but instead nice and soft, which is the perfect light to shoot great photos and also shoot great film. But even a couple of hours after and a couple of hours before, the light will still be pretty damn good. This will avoid recording when the sun is at the highest point and in the hours leading up to it and after. And if you have to record during that time, just make sure you're not shooting into the sun and try to keep it out of your shot. But I know it can be incredibly hard at times because of the wide angle lens. And what makes things even harder for riders is that a lot of times we're riding in direction of the sun. And now I know that some of you are thinking, man, some of this is a lot of work. You goddamn right it is. There's just so much more logistics and planning involved to get good and varied shots on a motorcycle. In the end, the quality of the video that you edit together will in part depend on the quality and the variety of your shots. It'll all depend on you. So have fun with it. 
experiment with it, try out new things and uh, figure out for yourself what works for you and on your motorbike. As you try out new things, you'll gain a lot of experience along the way. And don't forget to also edit your videos frequently because through that editing experience, you will understand better what kind of shots you'll need. So get out there and shoot some dope ass motorcycle videos. Let us know in the comments your own suggestions, experiences, our struggles uh, with creating better motorcycle videos. And if you would like to see some of my suggestions in action, have a look at one of my riding videos. I've also dropped a link in the description. Go check it out. So please subscribe if you haven't already, if this video was useful or helpful to you in any way. Go ride, stay upright, shoot some awesome footage out there, and I'll see all of you soon enough. Ciao.